Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to open a box from Bells of Steel, a six kilogram, 13 pound kettlebell in competition style. Today's opening device will be a lovely hunting knife. This knife is from CFK Cutlery Company, CPM3V. I think that is a steel designation. This knife is kind of an ideal knife size for hunting. I think of this as an ideal white tail skinning knife. Small enough blade with a good belly and this upswept tip allow you to use it actually as an effective hunting knife. It is incredibly, incredibly hard to sharpen. That steel is incredibly hard. It took a very, very, very long time to sharpen this knife. Oftentimes knife edges do not come good from the factory and you have to spend a lot of time putting your preferred edge alignment on them. This one was a real challenge. Yeah, this knife is incredibly sharp. Got a little bit of foam core to keep it from bouncing around inside. And kettlebell inside the box. Ah, I love this. We have talked about these super light kettlebells from Bells of Steel before. I don't think the last one had white tabs on it. People do little things like this to differentiate weights and they will add different colors to an otherwise black bell. For the most part, I like black kettlebells. Normally kettlebells are colored, different colors denote different weights. Yellow is 16K, green is 24K, red is 32K, so that you can see who's competing with what weight. People don't like having hundreds of kettlebells that are multicolored in their house for the most part. Black kettlebells tend to just look cooler and make your brain work better, I think. So people do things like add stripes to the handle in order to denote what the weight is. First thing that we always look at when we look at a kettlebell is the underside of a handle. We are making sure that there is no seam from construction on the underside of the handle. You can see these bells of steel handles have been polished and there is no seam on that interior corner. The point of a competition kettlebell is that they are all generally the same outside shape so that when you hold on to them, you can use a good technique. Kettlebells from places like Walmart or Target or Dick's Sporting Goods tend to be absolute trash. And the handle geometry in the corner of the bell doesn't allow you to hold the bell correctly. Whether it is a light bell or a heavy bell, competition bells can be lifted the same way with good technique. To me, that is the most important thing about a kettlebell. Is the handle and the geometry good to allow you to lift it properly? If it is not good, it doesn't matter how cheap the kettlebell is, it's useless. Basic technique for holding a kettlebell is to take the L of your hand into the corner. We call it the L of the kettlebell so that your hand can rest down at that 45 degree angle. In the beginning, bells will force people to hold the bell in a way. We do not use a barbell grip to hold onto a kettlebell. Barbell grip is for barbells because you're holding with two hands and it's a long bar. You move your body around the bar. A kettlebell, because it moves independently and because it has this offset center of mass, the majority of the weight is behind the bell, allows you to hold it with the best possible technique, which means stacking your bones up. Pinky bone, wrist bone, elbow in a generally vertical line with that corner of your hand shoved into the corner of that kettlebell. Six kilogram bells are rare, but about 200 million people just in North America need a bell like this. Many people have had injuries, they are deconditioned. Even people who go to the gym will have a separation in how their body works. People who are deconditioned may need to start with a light bell in order to make sure they get proper technique and that their core will learn to endure. 60% of the population of North America has back pain. That means that their core and their hips are not working together effectively. There are 330 million people in the USA last time I checked. So there is 198 million people who report having constant back pain just in the USA. That's not even counting around the world. If people try to start with a bell that's too heavy, they tend to get hurt. When they get hurt, they think that they can't get better and they stop trying to get better. If you need to start with a 4K or a 6K, 
Start with a 4K or a 6K, but get a good one that allows you to have proper lifting technique so you can actually get what you want out of training. You're not gonna find competition bells in stores, Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, Big Five, any of those places. You'll have to find them online. Bells of Steel makes a good one. This is a 6K. <clears throat> This is an adjustable competition kettlebell. Notice how similar they are in size and in shape. That is incredibly important. Notice that the lifting technique can be generally the same. Closed grip or a sport technique where you put your fingernails behind the bell. But notice that the arms line up the same way. Handle down at 45, handle down at 45. This adjustable bell goes from 12 kilograms to 32 kilograms, which is as much weight as everybody will possibly need. This is the Mark Wildman Edition Bell, which replaces 41 other kettlebells. Imagine 41 bells this size and shape, all replaced by this one item. But this only goes down to 12K, which is 25, 26 pounds. People who have been injured need a lighter weight. Whether it's barbell, kettlebell, or dumbbell, you work on the same basic core exercises in order to build athleticism and get rid of pain. You work on the swing or deadlift. You work on a clean, getting the weight up to shoulder height. You work on a snatch, getting a weight overhead in one smooth movement. An overhead press in the standing position, getting up off of the ground, and a squat. Getting good gear allows people to progress forward. They can learn exactly what they need to know so they can start with a lightweight and go to a heavyweight. Olympic lifters do not start just by snatching 300 pounds. They start by snatching the lightest weight they can, the bar. They work on their technique for years at a time and then they add small increments of weight. That is how athletes are built. Good equipment, good technique, progressive logical training programs that allow people to focus on the most important things so that people can actually develop the good movement patterns so that they can build all their other athleticism on top of it. The four kilogram and the six kilogram kettlebells from Bells of Steel are bridge weights that will allow vast numbers of people to actually improve their health and fitness. Getting good equipment is important. It doesn't have to be expensive, but it does have to work.